Well, good morning, everyone. I'm here this morning with Frank. Frank, could you tell everyone who doesn't actually know you yet, who are you and where do you come from and how long have you been coming to Emmanuel Church? Okay, thank you very much. Morning, everyone. My name is Frank Moshunje. I am originally from Zimbabwe, but I've also spent quite a lot of time in South Africa. I came to the United Kingdom last year in September, and then when the lockdown eased, April, sorry, May this year, I started to come to Emmanuel. Thank you. Okay, great. So you've been coming here since May. Yes. Wonderful. Well, we're delighted because already you're very involved in several things here at church. You help with The Rock. You've been coming to Talking Jesus. You're part of a home group and you're very regular at our services. I don't know if I've missed anything. But anyway, one of the things we've been talking about is being a welcoming church and how we welcome, how God welcomes us and how we reflect that in our welcome to other people. So I'm wondering, Frank, what it would be like if I was to come and visit you in Zimbabwe, come and see your family or in Southern Africa, what would a Southern African welcome look like for me? Mm, that's quite interesting. So first of all, what I would say, I want to give welcome into different perspectives. First, that's like when you're coming to someone's home. And the second, th uh, second aspect is like how we have been doing welcome in our church, local church back home. I don't know if that will be okay with you. So the first one is when someone is coming home, especially because we stay in quite like uh, areas where we have got big yards and you can see a person from a distance coming to your home, to your family home. So what we do, someone goes to meet you and then bring you, ushers you into the home. Yeah. So that one itself is a sign of receiving you and welcoming you and accepting you into the home itself. Wonderful. Yes, so that's how we do. And then when it is from the church side, what we usually do, because sometimes it's difficult to recognize if someone is new, and especially when it's the, there is a big crowd and the, the congregation is big. Mm -hmm. So usually what we used to do is to ask if they are visitors and welcome them. They can either stand or raise their hands and they are greeted and church leaders can meet them and then start to talk to them and they like, yes. Thank Wonderful. You. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, that certainly is a problem that we have at Emmanuel sometimes, that we're a big church and we can never tell if someone's been coming for a long time or not. Um, Frank, my last question to you is as a church, as we look to be really welcoming to people who may be from a culture other than British culture, what do you think are some of the universal ways that spread across cultures that we can show a warm welcome to people who come into our church but may have come from a different cultural background? Okay, thank you very much. So in regards to this, number one, we look at what is welcome. Welcome, I think, is universal in, its, uh, in itself. And uh, what is key is the attitude, is how you are received and how people talk to you and interact with you, which is very, very important. So on my, uh, let me give you an example. When I arrived here in Emmanuel, first of all, although I had some people who greeted me and others asked me to introduce myself to them, I also had a number of people who, who sort of spoke to me, including John, including Sheridan, in, including yourself, and uh, quite a number, and if I can say like, so that in itself, I felt at home. I felt that I, there was a reason for me to be part of Emmanuel, and I was motivated. So welcome in itself, it brings a connotation that you are important, family member, you are an important member of the church and of the body of Christ. So it's always good to recognize other people around and also to ask them about maybe what they are able to do within the church setting or what they've been doing in their local church if they've been taking part in a church setting. And then from there, you can involve them in different activities. So I would say one suggestion, like if maybe a person is, it's difficult to recognize everyone who is maybe a stranger, unless maybe it's recognizable. Like myself, I think it was quite easy to see that it's a new face and the like, but in, in other settings, it might be a challenge. So it may be good just to have welcome as a form of like 
let's say during announcements or during the church service itself, when people are starting, the, the service is starting to officially welcome other people. And mm -hmm. from there, we can see how, who are the new visitors and mm -hmm. church leaders can talk to them and start to integrate them into the church and also to introduce them to the different activities. Yes. Like uh, what I enjoyed most, I remember that I was invited to a Bible study group and it was quite uh, interesting and to have those conversations. I was uh, invited to a Talking Jesus course and that is very key and I've, since then I liked it and I'm taking part. Thank you. Great. Frank, thank you so much for talking to me today about Welcome. Thank you. We're delighted you're part of our church. Thank you very much.